and it will be like hell in the last few minutes. Hi guys, welcome to HFV. Those who are following the channel for several months know that I have a special connection to Sweden and to Gothenburg since it was my first destination abroad as a football vlogger. The Swedish first division, the Allsvenskan, starts today and we will be there. So back in Gothenburg today for the match Bieko Hecken against Aiko or if you like BK Hecken against AIK but I'm gonna call them according to the Swedish pronunciation in this video and I was lucky enough to experience the world famous support of Aiko back in November when they won in Buros against EF Elsborg 4-2. Check the link in the description for that video. On that day we saw the match from one of the home stands, one of the stands of EF Elsborg, but today we will support with the Aiko supporters in the away end because a very kind Aiko supporter got tickets for us to the away end. The venue of today's match is Bravida Arena, the stadium of Bieko Hecken. It can hold 6,300 people. And this was our last information before the trip, so off we go to the airport. So here we are in Gothenburg guys, Gothia Towers, the famous hotel, the biggest in the Nordic countries, is in the background. It's not gonna be my accommodation actually, but I'm really happy to be back um, here the third time. And every single time it was one thing which motivated me to travel here, football of course. So I'm gonna go now to the accommodation and after it head straight to the arena. But let's see the highlight of the Elfborg Aiko match from November. Is there still 3 2? The away side leads. Beer shower, everything. So, this what you saw is why you should expect if Aiko scores a goal today. I reckon it's gonna happen. By the way, here we are at Bravida Arena. Let's switch the cameras. The stadium of Bieko Hecken, ladies and gentlemen. This is the other side of the stadium. We need entrance letter A for the away section. And this is what you would think. This is the player's bus of Aiko, today's away side. We just walked around the whole stadium. There is another Aiko bus. And now we are at entrance. Is this entrance A? Well, we hope so. Yeah, this is our section. Section A, this way. It's pretty empty now. We have a bit more than an hour to go until kickoff. Bravida Arena, home of Bieko Hecken. Here we go. like that artificial grass pitch okay so we just walked down here to the buffet and I got some hot dog it's it's a simple food but it's great and behind me uh, you can see well, I'm just gonna turn around the camera so we can see the full name of Aiko it's Almena Idrots Club which has the translation to English general sports club or public sports club so and the abbreviation is Aiko AIK so that's it. Look at this logo, by the way. It's very beautiful and, and detailed. I mean, it, it's simple and, and beautiful at the same time. 
we were lucky enough to avoid these queues. These people just about arrived. Here we go, Arico players arriving for the warm up. The OA stand starts filling up. These are the OA sections, and this one here as well. Korea means a love that remains. Team photo at Hecken and Huddle at Aiko. And the match is underway. Aiko in white shirts and they start the match. Hecken free kick in the fourth minute. It's a corner for Hecken. And the corner comes in. Had it away. Another corner in the fifth minute. Cross comes in. Flies away by the keeper. The rebound is there. Long. Now the real support kicked off and you can see that at the sideline there are Aiko supporters just as well. Hecken on the attack now. Think into the box, had it away, had it back to the box. Hecken on the attack again now. Great passing now. The one against one and chance for a cross. The ref gave a penalty. It's questionable, but he gave it. 11th minute penalty for Hecken. It's in. Hecken leads 1-0. I thought the, the tackle was okay because the guy got the ball first and after that the man but the rest still gave a penalty no VAR in Sweden penalty converted confidently 1-0 Hecken it's another corner for Hecken during the 14th minute the corner comes in Header, what a save. It's Sunia from the rebound. Hecken is Sunia after 40 minutes. There we can see from the rebound great reactions. Keeper couldn't do anything against it. Guys, it's gonna be tough as hell for Aiko to turn this around. And Heck can just keep on pushing. 
great passing now. Oiko defense can't go up with the hacking counter attacks, not at all. Oiko cross comes in. Great chance missed. 19th minute, Oiko gets a corner finally. Cross is there. Less than 20 minutes gone from the game and we saw three goals already, excellent. And now Oiko will push again, I'm sure. Otieno himself and he plays the ball. Stefanelli back the cross and it's keeper's ball. Minute number 29 and injury on the pitch, so I can make a short summary now while well, this match is full of action and Michael couldn't do anything with the open attacking play of Heck and they were, uh, they were sloppy in the back and they conceded two goals, one from a questionable penalty but the, the second one was uh, a rebound where the striker was very alive but, but after that they, they got their, their play style back and they could get one back so it's 2-1 it's, uh, now obviously as you see on the scoreboard as well and I think it, it can still go either way, we'll see. Kind of an advantage for Hecken, the artificial grass, ball played back and they won't move it. No, they won't move it to the right side, they play it back to the left and they try to build their attack there. Great skills on the wing and time to cross. Great skills again and the cross is there again. He progressed it away, really important action. Hecken can counter decent chance. Ball collected on the right wing. So one against one there. And it's another Hecken corner in the 30, 30 minutes. Ball comes in. It's much over the bar. Aiko moving the ball back in the attacking third chance to get the cross in now. They're inside the box. Shot block. Great defensive work from Hecken. Dangerous attacking from Hecken again. Just past the post. Flat shot, but didn't hit the target. Hecken cannot stop attacking. They are playing very well. And they're inside the box again. What a save. Birko Hecken are on fire, it's as simple as that. They're attacking very, very dangerously, near to the third goal. Hecken free kick, played short. Back pass, and now the cross had it away. Hecken will get the cross in again. Important clearance. Big defensive mistake from Aiko now. Hecken takes the corner, 44th minute. Goal kick now. Nobody on the end of it. Two additional minutes at the end of the first half, guys. Half time, Hecken 2, Oiko 1. What we saw was an exceptionally excellent first half open attacking play from both sides and as a result uh, they were vulnerable at many times at the back especially the away side Aiko. Playing on an artificial grass is a big advantage for Hecken obviously 
Oiko, their home stadium, France Arena, has natural grass surface. So as a result, it was a much quicker play and it was hard to go up for Oiko. So 2-1, we'll see what the second half brings. I think a turnaround is, is might in it because I don't think that Hakan will have a, that great attacking power in the second half. But we'll see, they surprised in the first half totally. So, well, interesting it's going to be. Second half is underway, Hecken starts it. Ricky Kuroiko. The second half just began, 47th minute, Ricky Kuroiko. And the cross. Here for a corner. And Larson gets the cross in again. Fits it away and Stefan Ali from the rebound. Great skills. Mistake from the keeper, quite risky. The cross can come in now, great skills. Quick counter wasn't in the game at all. It's pretty much the only chance they had in this second half in these 10 minutes. Oiko was attacking and they had all the momentum. They are unlucky to concede this one and they are two behind once more. Real big chance for Ekken again. Still there. Another block. No penalty. I can running riot. They are leading 4 1 after a huge defensive mistake. Hacken for Aiko 1. Unbelievable, guys. What a shot. Out of birds, really. And not because I'm in the Aiko end, but this is just a shocking result. Aiko cannot allow to concede four goals, not against any team. But that's passion of Miko Hecken. Because the friend I'm visiting this match with said that you have to grab these matches to become champion in the end of the season. Well, it's the first game only, but this is really poor today from Aiko. Hecken, don't stop attacking. Miserable defending from Oiko today. Defenders all over the place. Really poor. Three defensive mistake now. Stefanelli shoots. Great save. Rebound. Larson with the corner, minute number 68. Headed away again. Stefan collects it again and he gets it back. Another Oiko corner. Great chance now for Oiko inside the box. Keeper on the ball. Still two goals behind, but what an atmosphere. Only one goal needed for that. I 
it away. Well, well, tell me about the referee stealing the show today. The first minute, another corner for Heck and like number 20, I don't know. Offside goal. It doesn't count. Pretty strike, really advantageous position. 84th minute, freaking for Aiko, got this one and it will be like hell in the last few minutes. Hit the post, oh my god! This match, wow, full of action, you can't relax for a second. I'm throwing from Larson. Yes. Only one and a half minutes left from the regular time. This looks like a heck of a victory, obviously. Another corner. Hecken never got tired in this match. 90 minutes over five minutes of stoppage time. Action in front of us. Great skill. And he's taking the ball down to the corner rather than attacking the goal. And now the cross. Another Aiko attack is in the match. The other way again. And it is over now. Big disappointment amongst these Aiko fans in the away section, obviously. They were the stronger side on paper and they conceded four goals. Unhappy supporters. No complaints at all for seeing a six goal thriller at the same time. I expected a lot more from Aiko who are considered the number one title challenger of Malmö FF. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more stadium vlogs, don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button or support my travels on Patreon. Both would help out the channel immensely. I was HFBC in the next vlog. Take care.